Anyway, viewers, we're back at the workbench. I decided not to spend a whole lot of more time on these walkie-talkies. I relegated those two that need repair back to the bag to go in a drawer for some future day. I've got these two working. Hopefully they'll continue to work long enough so we can get some use out of them. Now let's take a look at this drill. I need to do some serious cleaning up on it to find a name or identify it for those collectors out there who may ask me right off the bat I can't tell you yeah wait a minute I might be able to I'm gonna need a magnifying glass to read that you know what my Sony Handycam or to zoom right in on that we gotta stop and get the camera I'm just holding the thing by hand. I don't want to bother to set up a tripod. Hopefully I got the information I want in there. You can see the dirt and the crud that needs cleaning out of it. Make sure there's no other identifying marks before I put the camera away. I don't see any. Anyways, it's an interesting little drill. I think I've used it a few times. You just put the drill bit in there. Push it down and drill your hole. Before electric drills were around, I would imagine every carpenter in town or every guy in town wanted one of these to drill his holes with. You'll still see a few around from time to time. I guess you keep your drill bits inside of there. It's hollow. You can keep small drill bits in there. It's a pretty neat wood. I don't know if it's mahogany, pecan, or what this wood it is. But it's a well-constructed handle. You can bet there ain't nobody going to do that for you anymore. That was obviously turned down on a wood lathe. I thought that was an ID marker, but it looks more like a scratch. Wait a minute, there's a couple of ones on there. It almost looks like 11. If that means anything, I don't know. Maybe some of you tool collectors will know. It's got a nice little chuck on it that screws off. It's obviously removable. I don't want to remove it, I'll lose it. Probably needs a little WD-40. Threads are a little boogered up on that screw right there, so somebody's had it apart. Or try, oh, I bet you the handle occasionally came loose and they had to tighten it. Everything, why not? Everything else is loose on here. Handles put together with rivets. These gears and cogs on here are in excellent condition. Yeah. 
Anyway, I thought you might find that interesting. It's going to get put on a nail and go on display here on my wall somewhere. Uh, I've got other antique tools stuck around here somewhere. But this is one that was should have been down here earlier. And I dragged it out of the box and brought it down here to put in the shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I appreciate your all's comments and uh, you're, you're watching my videos. Thanks for stopping by the shop. This is Walter saying y'all have a good day.